Good evening. I welcome you again to the 2020 Honors Convocation presentations to recognize the singular achievements of Hanover College students. In this segment of the presentations, uh, we will learn of 23 recipients in 18 different awards that come from seven departments and one program in the Division of Social Sciences. The departments represented here are those of anthropology, communication, economics, elementary and secondary education, health and movement studies, international studies, and sociology. The program is the Business Scholars Program. And then there are some general awards to follow the departmental and program awards. The Betsy Milligan Johnson Class of 70 BSP Achievement Award is named after one of the college's most involved alumna and recognizes a student in the Business Scholars Program who embodies her commitment to engagement. This year's award goes to Rachel Barnhorst. Rachel from Indianapolis will graduate with an economics major, a communication minor, and BSP certification. She is a quiet leader with the ability to bring out the best in others in the classroom, in the dorm, or on athletic teams. She is the co-founder and treasurer for Looking Back, Moving Forward, a not-for-profit organization whose mission is to facilitate a better quality of life for low-income families in Sierra Leone. She earned a prestigious internship this past summer in the Marketing, Rail, and Defense Division at Cummins Incorporated. The Gerald R. Johnson Class of 69 Academic Excellence Award is named after Jerry Johnson, the late Hanover College trustee and the former executive director of the Business Scholars Program. This year's award for academic excellence goes to Landon Carrico. Landon from New Albany, Indiana, is a senior BSP scholar majoring in political science. He has excelled as captain on Hanover College's men's tennis team and is a member of the college's student athletic advisory board. Landon excelled as a consulting intern at CSM Sport and Entertainment. We worked on campaigns that matched world famous brands with big name talent. Landon is also social media director and host of the Neutral Site podcast, a sports site which features nationally recognized athletes and sportscasters. Landon is planning to pursue a career in sports administration and management following graduation. The John B. Goodrich Prize in the Oratory has been given for over 50 years to recognize significant oral or written public communication. This year's recipient is Samuel Pyle. Samuel is unique among Hanover College students. He has overcome many obstacles to grow and thrive in his life journey from Sierra Leone to Hanover. He brings intelligence, thoughtfulness, hard work, and a remarkably well-developed worldview to everything that he does. He inspires others through his selflessness and his vision for helping others. He has established a nonprofit organization looking back, moving forward, and looks forward to establishing a summer camp in his native Sierra Leone to help children deal with tribalism and intercultural conflict. The Distinguished Award in Communication 
goes to Julia Long. Julia from Cincinnati is a leader with the ability to connect with all people. Out of the classroom, she's been the captain of the women's lacrosse team, a peer advisor, and a peer mentor. Regardless of the context, she is thoughtful, mature, and always competent in her verbal and nonverbal communication. She will develop these skills as she continues her education in the nursing program of the Christ College of Nursing and Health Sciences in Cincinnati. The Distinguished Award in Economics goes to two recipients, Rachel Barnhorst and Allison Davis. Rachel from Indianapolis will graduate with an economics major, communication minor, and business scholar certification. Allie from Sanford, North Carolina will graduate with an economics major, a mathematics minor, and business scholar certification. She's been active in women and economics and has been recognized by both Alpha Lambda Theta and Mortar Board. The Hilda M. Cordry Awards are presented to the two senior majors in elementary education with the highest academic averages. The student with the second highest average is Elizabeth Matchett from the Liberty Township near Cincinnati. The student with the highest average is Abigail Howes from Terre Haute, Indiana. She will graduate with certifications in K through six general education and K through 12 mild intervention certifications. She hopes to work as a general education or special education elementary school teacher. The Distinguished Award in Elementary Education goes to Elizabeth Matchett. Lizzie is an elementary education major who will also be obtaining certification in mild interventions special education. She's a student athlete playing soccer in all four years while here at Hanover. She completed her student teaching locally at Johnson Elementary in Scottsburg. She hopes to return home to Ohio to start her teaching career. The Distinguished Award in Secondary Education goes to Caleb Graybert. Caleb is completing the Educator Preparation Program as a double major in history and secondary education. He's excelled in his academics and was successful playing football as well. He completed his student teaching at Jennings County High School in North Vernon, Indiana. He will be volunteering after graduation, working in student athlete academic services while completing a master's degree at the University of Tennessee. Tennessee, volunteering. The camera operator got it. The Distinguished Award in Special Education goes to Abigail Howes. Abby, still from Terre Haute, is an elementary education major who will also be obtaining certification in mild interventions, special education. She's a student athlete playing soccer all four years while at Hanover, and she completed teaching at Fox Hill Elementary in Washington Township. <clears throat> she has accepted a first grade teaching position at Mary Bryan Elementary with the Perry Township Schools in Indianapolis. This year, the Distinguished Award in Political Science goes to Sarah Bucker. Sarah from Greenwood, Indiana, will graduate with a Political Science Spanish double major. She has keen insights into the U.S. political process deep curiosity about questions of power and community, and a passionate commitment 
to achieving justice for immigrants. She has been active in the Spanish club support of Casa Amiga, has contributed legal research to support representation of a Venezuelan family's asylum application, and in the fall will carry impressive writing skills, work ethic, and general brilliance to the Syracuse University College of Law. The Robert R. and Clara J. Beach Award for Sociology recognizes outstanding student work in the discipline. The 2020 award goes to Olivia Johnson from Indianapolis. Olivia demonstrated her commitment to using her sociological knowledge for social justice causes by serving as a teaching assistant for Dr. Sarah Patterson and Dr. Katie Hadley's service learning course on poverty and addiction in Southern Indiana. After graduation, she plans to attend graduate school to become an addictions counselor. <clears throat> the Distinguished Award in Health and Movement Studies goes to Alyssa Edwards from Mockport, Indiana. Alyssa was a double major in Health and Movement Studies and Psychology. She achieved the highest GPA for Health and Movement seniors this year. During her time at Hanover, she served as a manager for the women's basketball team and participated in the Hanover College Best Buddies program. She will be attending Ball State University in the fall, pursuing a graduate degree in sports exercise psychology. The A. Glenn Maurer Pre-Law Award is awarded to the senior intending to pursue the study of law who best exemplifies the qualities of integrity, sensitivity to the needs and concerns of individuals, commitment to public service, and intellectual capacity for the study and practice of law. This year's recipient is Sarah Bucker. Following graduation, Sarah will be attending the University of Massachusetts School of Law in Dartmouth, Massachusetts. The Charles and Dorothy Lynn English Prize is given annually for the best paper submitted on any subject in connection with the regularly assigned work in any junior or senior course. Dr. Willis T. Gatch established this prize in the hope of stimulating English proficiency in all academic disciplines. Papers must be nominated by the faculty member to whom they were originally submitted. This year's Lynn Prize will be shared by two recipients, Emma Kate McMurtry from Terre Haute, Indiana, will graduate with a double major in history and communication. She is recognized today for her paper on copyright policy. The second recipient, Katerina Rexing, a senior from Evansville, will graduate with a double major in English and history and a minor in medieval Renaissance studies. She is recognized today for her essay, Pagan Ritual, Witchcraft, and Heresy, Transformation from the Early to High Middle Ages. The Eli Mace Essay Prize is awarded annually for the best essay submitted on any problem arising out of World War I. This year's award goes to Sherry Minor. Sherry is a senior psychology major and a business scholar from Madison, Indiana. She is recognized today for, for her essay, The Voiceless Victims of the First World War. The Edward J. Hamilton Essay Prize is given for the two best essays on any problem of ethics 
and students who have studied ethics in any course are eligible for the award. There are two students honored today by the Hamilton Essay Prize. Sydney Claypool and Adriana Conway. Sydney, a senior biochemistry major from Mount Sterling, Kentucky, is recognized for her essay, Medical Ethics Opioids. Adriana, a senior sociology major from Louisville, is recognized today for her essay, Health Care in America. The Philip R. Taylor Award for Student Publishing is endowed by family and friends in honor and memory of the late Philip Taylor, a history major in the class of 2000. The award supports a Hanover student in the publication or presentation of a senior thesis project. This year's award goes to Josh Smith. Josh is recognized today for his senior thesis, Where Have All the Women Gone? Erasure and Marginalization in the Lesbian Mormon Experience. His paper has been accepted for presentation at the Mormon History Association's annual meeting. Josh is a Spanish theology double major with a minor in gender studies. The Alpha Lambda and Delta Award goes to two students. Alpha Lambda Delta is a national honor society which honors academic excellence during a student's first year at college. Students who achieve a 3.5 grade point average or better during the first year are invited to join. Every year at Honors Convocation, the Society also recognizes the senior member who has attained the highest grade point average within the membership. In honor of the founding member, Maria Leonard, National Alpha Lambda Delta, presents the Senior Book Award for sustained academic excellence to two students, Allie Davis and Logan Ratz. Well, thank you again for joining me in another segment of the presentation uh, to Hanover students of honors uh, for their uh, singular and distinguished achievements and accomplishments. Uh, I hope that you will return uh, for the, uh, the fourth and final segment of the awards uh, in which uh, both faculty members of distinction and students of distinction will be recognized. <laughs>